this is a Lebanese dish called shish tuwuk. It's basically a chicken shish kebab with all the fixings. Shish tawuk. It's a very flavorful Lebanese shish kebab, chicken shish kebab. Recipe for this is below in the comments section. So I'm going to take a mixing bowl and I've got some extra virgin olive oil. I've got some thick Greek yogurt. Two tablespoons of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. Two teaspoons of tomato paste. This is the one out of the tube. Two to three cloves of minced garlic. And I've got some paprika. A little bit of cinnamon. Some allspice. Fresh cracked pepper. Some powdered ginger. Some oregano. And some kosher salt. Half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'm just going to mix that up really well. That smells really good. There, I like that. And I've got two breasts here. I like to use boneless, skinless thighs too, but I've got chicken breast today. So I'm just going to throw that in. And I'm going to just make sure everything's well coated. There, I like that. I'm gonna cover that and I'm going to put it into the fridge for two to six hours. In the meantime, I'll make my tabbouleh and my tzatziki aioli sauce. Well, my shish tawuk had a good solid four and a half hours in the fridge marinating. Looks really good. Smells fantastic. I'm going to go with metal skewers, but if you want to use wooden skewers, you can. And um, I'd soak them first. And um, if you want to go in the oven, you could put it underneath the broiler. That would do the same thing. So I've preheated my little smoker here. Um, to start this, I just use a, a torch, some fresh lump and hit it like that. I can't say enough about these little smokers. That's a uh, Kamado Joe Jr. A little over $200 for that and it's ceramic and it's fantastic. Um, I've been replacing some of my smokers and I, I'm very happy with the uh, Kamado. So I'm just going to skewer these up. The lemon juice in the yogurt makes this so tender. Discard the rest of your marinade. Now I'm pretty hot here. I'm getting close to 400 degrees. I'm going direct. I can go on the grill. If you, you can go on the grill if you want or in the oven, but I'm going on the little smoker. Um, I'm not adding smoke to this. It's just going to be charcoal. And we're going to char grill. So on this goes. You can hear the nice sizzle on that. And so how I like to do this is get some really nice color into it and then shut the vents down and let it finish cooking. Another tip that I'd like to show you is if you're going with wooden skewers, take some tin, like after you've skewered them, and just rest it on the grill like that so that it doesn't catch on fire. Great little tip. Or you can wrap it like that as a little handle. This is going to take probably about two minutes aside, and um, I'm just going to go in and grab some of the condiments that I'm going to serve with this. Okay, my shish to wook took a couple of minutes aside. You get the char on and then you kind of turn it down and just let them finish. You can do it in the oven if you like, but it's, it's a nice day. Do it outside on the grill. These look really good. You can see the nice char on there. This kind of reminds me of um, my shawarmas and my kofta, meat on a stick. Now for condiments, I'm going to serve this on a low carb tortilla, kind of like a fajita. And these are little street tacos. And um, there's virtually no carbs in it, but you decide whether if it's right for you. And I've got some tabbouleh. My tabbouleh used to have couscous in it before it was keto. And this is my keto version. And the recipe for this and my tzatziki is below in the comments and baba ganoush. Um, 
if you miss the couscous, you can put in a little bit of the rice cauliflower for that texture. So there's my tabbouleh. That looks really good. So that's how I'm going to serve that, wrapped up in a tortilla. There you go. There's my shish tawuk with all the fixins. Thanks for watching.